Um, all right. One other thing in terms of ergonomics, at least for the purposes of this tutorial, and that is to make sure that your patch opens up with some useful values. The problem is that as it stands, all of your um, all of your uh, your um, sort of controls are going to start at um, uh, kind of default positions, which are zero essentially. So a good thing to do is to make sure that they start at values which are going to be useful to your user. Um, and to do that, you can use load bang commands so load bang and send messages to your various uh, objects in order to initialize them and that means I mean, really what you want is for your patch to be usable from scratch your user should really be able to open the patch press a note on the keyboard and have it play if you can make it do that and once again I shall be impressed so um, what we will do is we will send, we'll start off with a sine wave because most oscillators will. But I need to send a load bang to my oscillator select in order to make it do that. Similarly, I'm going to send a message to all of my um, ADSR parameters in order to get them to behave from scratch in a useful way. So if I do another load bang, actually I don't need another load bang because I can use this one. But I will put in 50, 100, 0 0.5 and uh, 400. Connect those up to there. And then as soon as the patch opens, those values will be sent to there. One other thing, I might um, send a value of 127 to my... Oops, to my um, gain object so that the patch starts off again at a volume which is going to be useful. You could also, if you wanted to, you could send a one value to a message with a one in it to the audio on off, which means your audio will start up as well. That's really up to you. Um, and then if, if I double click on load bang, it's as if I've loaded the patch. So those values will all be sent in. So your your patch will start off like that. Um, and I think that's quite a valuable thing for your user. Actually, I'll tell you what, I made. I did make a mistake there. Notice that I didn't put a zero point in my unpack uh, for the third item. So, of course, it doesn't recognise a 0 0.5, you just put it at zero. So I need to put a zero point in there, do it again, and we'll get 0 0.5 there. Um, <clears throat> so you can do that. You could also use presets. Uh, and uh, the presets I think we've looked at briefly, or maybe not, well, not very extensively actually. They do appear in the first class that we did, um, but they're quite easy to use. If I make a preset object, it pops up with the various nodules. Um, and you can save presets, so I could, if I save a preset uh, without connecting this object to anything, it will save the state of all of the graphical objects on the screen. So whatever I've put in, if I've put it, played some notes and they're still down, if I've chosen an oscillator select um, thing in the, the U menu, if I've specified some values in the, uh, for, for the ADSR, those will all be recalled. Now that's quite useful, but it can also be a bit of a pain because sometimes it will uh, save aspects of certain um, uh, uh, certain objects which you don't want to be saved. So what I tend to do, and um, it's by no means something you should do, but it's it's something I tend to do just because it, it, you know, I, I, I like to have absolute control over what I'm doing, is to connect, if you, from the um, left outlet of the preset object, you'll notice it says connect to objects to include in a preset. So if I click on that and connect to these various... Um, objects, actually I won't connect it to there, um, then only those objects will be, uh, will have their states recalled by the um, preset object. 
Um, and then all I need to do is to choose some values for those objects. Well, actually, I'll choose, I'll, I'll leave them as they are for now because that will be our default state. And when if you press Shift and click on a preset, then it will save it. And then I might change those values, oops, and put in something different. So I could put in um, 100, and I could put in 200, and 0 0.5, and 1000, and save those values. Um, and I could put in uh, 10 and uh, 20 and 0 0.5, well, maybe 0 0.3 again. Whoops, sorry, not, not again. 0 0.3 and uh, 100. Save that one. And those will all be recalled when I click on the appropriate preset nodules. Um, <clears throat> and if you want to make it more ergonomic still, or more, more easy to follow for your user, you can um, attach a U-menu object to your presets. So, uh, because of course the presets at the moment don't really have any, uh, they're just nodules, they don't really have any explanation as to what you're presetting. So I'll make a U-menu object and put in some items for those various options. So I will put in um, sign and normal, or maybe I'll just put in default for my first one. And then the next one I'll put in um, sawtooth long, uh, long envelope, because I had some long values in there. And then I might put in sawtooth uh, short envelope, something like that. Okay, that, and then of course those um, those items pop up in my list. Um, I need to add one because the first value coming out of default, uh, sorry, out of the U menu is zero for the first item, and it'll be one and two for the other two. Okay, so zero, one, and two. Um, but the preset object, for some reason, always choose, selects its first module as being 1, 2 and 3. So it's not entirely consistent with other things in Mac, but never mind. So I just need to add one to that. Um, and of course we might want then to have this object as part of our presentation mode. So I will add that. And maybe add that at the bottom, along with a label that says presets. You get the idea. So I'll come back to here. Um, notice that the uh, it plonks the presets thing in a not particularly useful place, so I'll move that. And there you have it. So we now have uh, a patch which um, has some presets in it, has some um, uh, some you know has various different types of oscillators, uh, along with some um, an ADSR envelope and so on. We, and it has a presentation mode, and it will open in presentation mode. And uh, I think that's probably it.